the rings list is increasingly talked about by those who are becoming aware of the extent of satanic ritual abuse of children, handicapped adults and animals by men and women in positions of power. RAINS is an acronym. It stands for Ritual Abuse Information Network and Support. Leading psychiatrist Dr Joan Coleman compiled it carefully in the early 2000s when she noticed how many of her severe cases in therapy would name the same names, the same stately homes and other venues, the same vehicles and the same techniques while recalling their abuse. Only when two or more patients who did not know of each other reported the same details to Dr Coleman would she name them on the list. Consequently, the focus of the Reigns list is on the south coast of England and on the period of the new Labour government. But it is very apparent that satanic ritual abuse is just as prevalent in the elite of other parts of the British Isles and the world, and that it has only grown in scope in the decade since Dr Coleman's list came out. Anyone who so much as mentions the Reigns list risks becoming the target of coordinated Satanist ridicule and threat, including by a few of my old colleagues from the intelligence services, it would seem. Fortunately, we don't care much for that. Christ has already defeated the devil and all his lies. A crucial development came in 2016 to 2017, when Mike Veal, who was then Chief Constable of Wiltshire Police, took seriously an invitation by the late Robert Green to look at the Reigns list evidentially, particularly its multiple corroborations from unassociated sources that the late Prime Minister, Sir Edward Heath, had abused children in a very particular and unusual way. Chief Constable Veal subsequently published in a report his findings that there were even more independent corroborations of that detail than Dr Coleman's Reigns list had even mentioned. Mike Veal paid dearly for that public service. To find out more about the significance of the Reigns list and of the people named in it, you can follow the work of the veteran campaigners Wilfred Wong and Belinda McKenzie. The abuse survivor Bill Maloney and his Pie and Mash films, and the Metropolitan Police whistleblower, former Detective Constable John Wedger. That's John with no H. May God honour the precious memory of Dr Joan Coleman and Robert Green. Here now is the complete Reigns list, as enriched by updates and comments made in 2018 by the Scottish campaigner Wildcat. People. Dr. Cho Dr. Coleman begins, I will write these in the order in which they were given to me. The following 20 or so were given by H.G., that's informant Helen G., or her alters. An alter is another personality in somebody suffering from dissociative identity disorder, otherwise known as multiple personality disorder. Most of these names have since been confirmed by those we speak of as PALS, that is a source or sources incarcerated in Lee Park in Havant in Hampshire. PALS have provided many more names in addition. For the first few years, years that I knew Helen G, these were the only names that she mentioned and appeared to be her main controllers and abusers. Gradually, over the years, she started to talk of others. But at that time, there were still so many cult loyal alters in her who tried to prevent these disclosures. Joseph Stein, also known as Martin, to Brookmead Way, Langstone, Havant. He was described as Helen G's keeper, and he formerly had considerable power over her. Many of Helen's alters were hypnotised to believe that they were in love with him and that he loved her, even though he abused her. Most of her alters are wise to him now. Sue, 
is still vulnerable. Stein is still very much involved with trying to get at Helen G. He can appear very charming, but in reality is extremely sadistic. Julie Stein was married to Joseph or Martin. She used to text me, that's Dr. John Coleman, frequently, and sometimes left answer phone messages on the Reigns phone. I once lifted the phone in the middle and she immediately rang off. I'm told that in 2006, she found out that Martin or Joseph had taken up with another woman and she threatened to expose the group and him. I understand that she was disposed of, no details. Certainly I have heard nothing from her for a long time. Martin or Joseph apparently had a cult marriage to the new woman in London on the 17th of November 2006. Matthew Stein, son of Martin and Julie. Current address given as 15 Stamford Avenue, Hailing Island, Hampshire. I do not know if this is current. Telephone number given. Don Taylor, also known as Peter. Clinical psychologist who does hypnosis using blue lights. I have several addresses and phone numbers for him, all in Southampton. Two University Road, Southampton, two phone numbers given. Don Taylor and Associates Limited, phone number given. Also an address at 51 Radstock Road, Southampton. But he may live in Kitchener Road, Southampton. Website www.dontaylor.org.uk. I haven't heard anything of him for the past two years or so. William Rattry, also known as James, 23 Winterslow Road, Porton, near Salisbury, phone number given. He has had a below the knee amputation of one leg. He uses some sort of prosthesis. I have not heard anything of him for about five years. He could be dead. Les Saunders, who died a few years ago, owned the Queen's Head pub, 32 High Street, Lodgers Hall, Andover, Hampshire. Helen, the informant, lived in a caravan on the grounds when she was 16 and was reintroduced into the cult by Les Saunders who had been in children's homes after his mother died. Lord William Rees Mogg, former editor, writer and director for various publishing companies. Address given as in Who's Who 1999, 17 Paul Mall, London SW1Y5NB, now aged just over 80. Geoffrey Levy, Daily Mail columnist. Peter King, electrician, formerly of Four Test Court, Riverway, Andover, Hampshire, believes to have moved. Telephone number given. I have heard nothing of him for five years. Paul Beadle, formerly of 44 Rack Close, Adelaide Road, Andover, Hampshire, rumoured to have moved. Susan James, Records Department, Bristol Royal Infirmary, passes on messages and gives information about patients. Bruce Parker, Winchester, works as a presenter on Southern TV, subsequently recognised in the Queen's Honours List 2017. In April 2019, April 2009 correction, the BBC reported that Bruce Parker's son, Charlie, a BBC cameraman, had been found dead in his fat, flat, aged 34. Lord Montague, Palace House, Bewley, Hampshire, SO42. Telephone number given, also has a flat in London. Very important in the group and is known as the Grand Master. Many of the cult festival ceremonies are held at Palace House in parts of the grounds not open to the public or in the ruined abbey. 
Some are held partly in the New Forest, which is all around Bewley. Although parts of his estate, including the famous Carr Museum, are open to the public, there are many other parts that are not. All ceremonies take place at night when the gates are locked. Lord Montague then died in 2016, leaving £21 million. Mike Hancock, a Member of Parliament for Portsmouth at the time, of the Liberal Democrat Party. No details about him regarding cult involvement, not mentioned by Powell's source. Sir Max Hastings, editor and journalist, again not mentioned by Powell's source. The 17th Duke of Norfolk, Arundel Castle, West Sussex, born 1915. Arundel Castle and the Duke of Norfolk were mentioned by the first and third Satanist ritual abuse survivors that Dr. John Coleman worked with, namely Barbara S. and Veronica H. Sadly, both are now dead. The Duke of Norfolk's second daughter is now Lady Karina Frost. She married David Frost in 1983. Sir David Frost. Mentioned as attending some ceremonies, not simply that he married into the Norfolk family. David Frost died in August 2013. In July 2015, Frost's son Miles, aged 31, died while jogging. Dr. Katrina Prescott, 57 Wolverston Drive, Brighton, BN1 7FB. Darren Jackson, junkie, killed by the group, no details. Virginia Bottomley, Her Majesty's Secretary of State for Health in the early 1990s. She authorised Jean Lafontaine's research into organised and ritual abuse. And when the report came out, she announced on BBC Radio 4 that she was, quote, delighted that the myth of ritual abuse had been exploded. Virginia Bottomley was mentioned frequently by Veronica Hook in considerable detail. Her address is given in Who's Who as the House of Commons, but Dr Coleman believes she has a house in Godalming and she also has property on the Isle of Wight. Dr Robert Wells, police surgeon, Winchester and Southampton. He was convicted in June 2004 of raping and sexually assaulting young girls, a detail subsequent to the publication of the list by Dr. Coleman. Winchester Crown Court sentenced him to 10 to 15 years in jail. Sir Edward Heath, or Ted Heath, former Prime Minister. Homosexual, but not exclusively so where children are concerned has been mentioned by at least three Satanist ritual abuse survivors, none of whom know each other. Several have described long fingernails. I am told that he wore false claws added to his nails, with which he clawed his child victims. Died in 2005. The cult held their own funeral for him on the 31st of July to the 1st of August 2005. Update. Operation Conifer, February 17, police chief, says Heath was a paedophile, 120% genuine. October 20, 2017, seven cases sifted from 1,580 lines of inquiry. Also October 2017, summary closure report, police chief appalled by previous cover-ups. Dr. Shreyas Deepak Raj, 20, Blenheim Drive, Rustington, Littlehampton, West Sussex, BN 15 3SN, is available to the group for treatment of any members who are excessively beaten, etc. Also does experimental operations to practice his surgical skills. Some years ago, did a bilateral mastectomy and tracheotomy on victim M. The latter went wrong and caused severe damage to her larynx, 
for which she had to have a surgical repair job in France. Her voice is still very husky last time I heard it. David Queen, formerly of Suffolk Road, Andover, Hampshire. Killed by the group in 2004. No details. Michael Winner, actor, writer and director, often on TV. Subsequently died in January 2013. Lord Peter Goldsmith, Attorney General under Tony Blair's government, 9 Buckingham Gate. This information came before he was so well known. At the time, Dr Joan Coleman showed Helen a photo of him with all the writing obscured. Immediately she said, that's Peter Goldsmith. I've seen him at Bewley and other places. John Hodinot, former Chief Constable of Hampshire Police. He was found dead in August 2001. Michael Barrymore, television personality and presenter. Clive Johnston was keeper master of the cult before Mark Davis. Brian Farmer, a forger on the Isle of Wight. Charlotte Beasley, aged 14, made pregnant by the cult. Her baby was removed for sacrifice by caesarean section without anaesthetic. Despite Dr. Raj's efforts to save her, she died. Jason McAteer, junkie and enforcer, killed by the cult with a drugs overdose. Barry, surname unknown, messenger for the cult, drove a silver hatchback Peugeot, registration CG52SFJ. Charles Clark, Member of Parliament, former Education Secretary of Her Majesty's Government, Labour Party, later Home Secretary, a master in the cult. His name has been mentioned by other Reigns members who have no connections with Helen. The disassociated, or rather unassociated, victim told Dr Joan Coleman that her client was abused frequently by him and also taken abroad for further abuse. Philip Thompson drove a Volvo Silver Estate car, possibly registered E769FOM. Charlotte Jamie, aged 10, sold to Mark Davis, KM, for £400. Peter de Savary. International Entrepreneur. Address. Skibo Castle, Dornoch, Scotland. Also has property in the south. Former chairman of Millwall Football Club. Ray Aldridge Morris, psychologist, wrote many papers sceptical of satanic ritual abuse. Lord Robert Edwin McAlpine was mentioned by victim B.S. in the late 1980s, was the father of Alistair McAlpine, about whom many allegations of child sexual abuse were made both before and after his death. Alvin Stardust, 1970s pop singer, mentioned by victim B.S. in 1986, but she always felt that he was more into homosexual paedophilia than into cult stuff. He subsequently died aged 72 in October 2014. Dr Bill Thompson, lecturer in criminology, Reading University. On the advisory board of the British False Memory Society and has been an expert witness for the defence in many cases of child sexual abuse. Update, in 2002, police raided his home and the university and seized a computer and files. They found many images of child pornography on his computer. He claimed they were there because of his court work. 
he was suspended from his employment and later reinstated question mark. Private Eye was hot in his defence. He was mit written many sceptical and scathing articles about satanic ritual abuse and also broadcasts. He was mentioned as a definite cult member by victims B.S. and Veronica H., as well as source pals. In 1994, Dr. Joan Coleman had a confrontation with him on the BBC Radio 4 live news programme, The World at One, just after Jean Lafontaine's report came out. Michael Portillo, journalist, broadcaster and former frontbench member of parliament, and cabinet minister in the Conservative Party. Red Matthews. He was very high up in the cult, being a commander. In 2004, he had some dispute and decided to give evidence to the police. He was forced to attend a cult so-called trial and was found guilty and killed by them on Halloween 2004. David Richardson, a new male enforcer as of January 2005. Detective Inspector, or correction, Di Williams. New female enforcer, January 2005. Both David Richardson and Di Williams were from Winchester. Both of these were considered not to have fulfilled their duties. I later learned they had been tried by the cult and punished. They were both killed in the ceremony on the 17th of March 2006. The following names were given at the same time in January 2005. All are said to be watchers, that is those who do not participate in the abuse. Stevie Peters, Tom Reynolds, Paul James, Ian Cunliffe and name uncertain, Brian Messenger. Bertram Hodgkinson, a Freemason and a member of the Grand Order of, Wa Grand Order of Water Rats. He is important in the cult, a commander. Dr. Tony Baker, a child and adolescent psychiatrist in Hazelmere and Woking, Surrey. Apparently, he belongs to another group, but is known to our informants because he is prepared to help satanic groups nationwide. Dr. Joan Coleman says, I have had a number of encounters with Dr. Tony Baker. Back in 1989, when I was working with victim B.S., my first satanic ritual abuse survivor, Guildford Criminal Investigations Department called him in for a second opinion. His conclusion was that I had invented the entire story and had suggested it all to the victim, causing her to believe all the elaborate details she had given us. This finished the police investigation on that case. He later caused a considerable damage to a family which resulted in both the children being taken away from the entire, entirely innocent mother. Both returned to her voluntarily as soon as they were old enough. Dr. Tony Baker was also involved in the Brockstow case of 1987, before it was known to be satanic ritual abuse rather than plain child sexual abuse. Ruth Kelly, Member of Parliament, Education Secretary, later Transport Secretary in Her Majesty's Government, a member of Opus Dei. She was frequently in the press regarding her moral dilemmas about in vitro fertilization and the like being acceptable to Roman Catholics. She was also in the press regarding lowering the fetal age of permissible abortion. She attended Sir Edward Heath's cult funeral. David Whiting Jolla, commander. Ricky West and Georgina Mitchell, both listed as to be punished soon, that is, by the cult. Lord Carnarvon, owner of High Clear Castle near Newbury. William Chamberlain, solicitor, helps cult for cash, may not be cult member, 
or may not need to attend their ceremonies. John Rose, London, is called Your Lordship by the group. Margaret Kenwood, Winchester, junkie, recruits runaway kids. Stuart Campbell, Portsmouth, sentenced to 10 to 15 years in jail for burglary. Update, has been jailed numerous times, 2008, 2012, 2017. Sir Edward Hulse owns Braymore House, a few miles south of Salisbury. The Right Reverend Crispian Hollis, Roman Catholic Bishop of Portsmouth. He was referred to by the group in a text message to Dr Joan Coleman on the day of Pope John Paul II's 23rd funeral, correction, Pope John Paul II's funeral, as being so good to us. He has also been mentioned by a male survivor with whom another Reigns member is working. This young man lived in Portsmouth and he said that the Right Reverend Crispian Hollis organised the group whom he was abused by. Cardinal Cormac Murphy O'Connor, update, died in September 2017. Catholic Church in England and Wales, mentioned in the same text Years ago, when he was Bishop of Arundel and Brighton, Dr. Joan Coleman writes, I met him and tried to talk to him about satanic ritual abuse. He was very dismissive. Cormac Murphy O'Connor was responsible for moving several Roman Catholic priests to other dioceses when there were allegations of child abuse, i.e. in Sussex, including one whom he transferred to Heathrow Airport, who was later convicted and imprisoned. He has been mentioned by another unconnected survivor. Terry Grange, Chief Constable of David Powys Police in South Wales. On the Fringe, helps groups. In January 2005, Dr Joan Coleman was asked by Lee Moore to write to him in his capacity as holder of the Violent Crimes Portfolio at the Association of Chief Police Officers, ACPO, which has since changed names, in support of her request for a national police unit to be set up to deal with the issue of ritual crime and abuse. She received a scathing reply from Grange, of which Dr Joan Coleman was sent a copy, stating that there is no evidence past or present that satanic ritual abuse is a reality. Grange referred to Jean Lafontaine's research and maintained that there were myths in the early 90s resulting in children being taken into care. But as soon as the allegations were dismissed, the children were returned home. Grange himself has now been discredited. On May the 6th, 2008, the Independent Police Complaints Commission for England and Wales upheld four allegations made by his former mistress, regarding the misuse of police funds and computer. He subsequently requested retirement, which the police authority accepted. He died of cancer in May 2012. Philip Mutoa became a male enforcer for the cult on the 21st of May 2005. Five foot ten, stacky build or stalky build. That's probably a misprint for stocky build. Howard Locke, Inquisitor, from Bromley, thin, five foot four, dark hair. Barbara North, hospital administrator, lives in Andover, Hampshire, gives information on the fringe. Phil Compton, a driver for the group, drives a silver estate car. Lord Porchester, son of the then Lord Carnarvon, Newbury. Anne Marnie, Wales. In national news, kept dead babies in attic. Update. In 2005, 
police found three dead babies' bodies in Marnie's attic. Two were found in one house on the Girnos estate in Merthyr Tudville, South Wales, and one in another house in Crab Apple Close on the same estate. Former governor of an infant school, psychiatric nurse and youth football team manager. Marnie also worked at Prince Charles Hospital in Merthyr Tudville for 20 years until 1983 and is thought to have worked for social services. John Morriston, high commander of the group in London, very important in the group. Kathleen Taylor, group member who took part in the TV film Exorcism, 24th of February 2005. Guy Claxton, another group member who took part in the film Exorcism. Evan Lewis, another group member who took part in the film Exorcism. The Marquis of Blandford, Blenheim Palace, junkie. Real name, James Spencer Churchill, title 12th Duke of Marlborough. Paul Boating, Member of Parliament, has been mentioned by other survivors. Greg Brandt, aged 23 at the time, a minder. Henry Marshall, Dorchester, Dorset, very important in the group, a master, has a scar on his right shoulder. Lord Moyne, Bidston House near Andover, Hampshire, has connections with the Guinness family. Update. Brian Walter Guinness was an heir to part of the Guinness family brewing fortune, a lawyer, poet and novelist. He married Diana Mitford. The Marquis of Bath, Longleat, Warminster. Mentioned also by victim BS in the late 80s and early 90s. She claimed ceremonies were held on the estate and that she had seen bodies buried in the grounds. Luke Killick, Southampton. New section by Dr Joan Coleman. From the 11th of June 2005 onwards, I have included on the list the date that the person was first mentioned. Giles Harrington, 11th of June 05, hypnotist. Alan Williams, 14th of June 05, a new commander known as Judge. David Hunt, 23rd of June 05, known in the group as Merlin. Noel Jadeson, 7th of July 05, Minder. Lucas Bentley, 11th of July 05, East Ham, London. George Spanner, 13th of July 05, also known as Brother, a biker. Followed Helen G and Dr Joan Coleman to a pub the Wayhill Fair near Andover, for lunch, took a great interest in us. A watcher, i.e. did not participate in abuse. Josephine Mulgee, the 15th of July 05, member of the Guinness family, Bidsden House near Andover, Hampshire. Stephanie Wiseman, the 26th of July 05, junkie, used to produce babies for sacrifice or abuse. Julian Kent, 31st of July, 05, priest, London. Chia Mikali, the 2nd of August, 05, London, commander. Patrice Chambre, the 4th of August, 05, French, works as a surveyor and interior designer, an overseer. Source Pals refers to him frequently as the frog is in London much of the time, appears to be very important in the group. Carl Merrington, 6th of August 05, when he was aged 36, attended Ted Heath's cult funeral. Nick Fuller, 6th of August 05, age 29. Josh Robbins, 6th of August 05, then aged 49, from Shirley, Southampton. James Goodliffe, the 6th of August 05, works at the Ministry of Defence. Nigel Traylon, the 6th of August 05, 
owns a bookshop on the Isle of Wight called Ventnor Rare Books. Dr. Coleman adds, I have heard of him many times from victim B.S., who died in 1993. He was very friendly with her husband, Ian Stedman. Is allegedly H.P. of the group on the Isle of Wight. I have met him twice. The first time was in, was in about 1990, when Traylon and his father Charles, who was also in the cult, ran a bookshop in Guildford. Charles is now dead. My second meeting with Nigel Traylon was when he came to my house with Ian Stedman in about 2004 and bought some old books from me. The only outstanding thing about him was his terrible halitosis. He was mentioned by source pals many times. He attended Ted Heath's cult funeral. Ventnor Rare Books address is Caxton House, Old Station Road, Ventnor, Isle of Wight, PO 38 1DX. A new section by Dr Joan Coleman. The following are alleged to have attended Ted Heath's cult funeral ceremony in Salisbury on the night of the 31st of July 2005. This information was received the following week. Virginia Bottomley, Jean Lafontaine, Lord Montague, Lord Moyne of the Guinness family, Ruth Kelly, Charles Clark, James Goodliffe, Ministry of Defence. Note that Charles Clark was Home Secretary in or around that time. Carl Merrington, Nick Fuller, Josh Robbins, Nigel Traylon, David Brindle, writes for The Guardian, Hugh Muir, 16th of August 05, writes for The Daily Telegraph, Graham Mostyn, 20th of August 05, from London. Update on Hugh Muir, he's now Associate Editor of The Guardian. Dr. John Bancroft, 2nd of September 05, retired psychiatrist, Psychosexual Disorders, Oxford. Incidentally, the list of the attendees of Ted Heath's cult funeral has now ended. Hugh Freeman, 14th of September 05, former editor of the British Journal of Psychiatry, died in 2011. Father Des Connolly, 16th of September 05, St John the Baptist Church, Andover, Hampshire. Update, in 2010 it was reported that he was moving to Southampton. Father Michael O'Kelly, 16th of September 05. Update, was caught and jailed in 2002 after being found with thousands of perverted sex pictures of children. The bishop commenting in the article which the updater found is none other than the cult member Crispian Hollists, mentioned previously. Tina and Richard Sullivan, 3rd of November 05, Worcestershire, were featured on Crime Watch programme on the 2nd of November 05, the previous day. Update 2014, Witness Protection Scheme. Brian Duke, 4th of November 05, teacher. Baken Dakar, possibly short for Dakarios, 18th of 11th 05, Greek, an overseer into sadomasochism. Stefan, surname unknown, 18th of November 05. Mary Ann Wooten, 19th of November 05, Andover, on the fringe. Martin Covington, 19th of November 05, Andover. Johann Heilt, 3rd of December 05, German or Dutch, a so-called teacher from Brussels, EU connections. SW, 16th of December 05. Later was referred to by Helen and Dr Joan Coleman as PAL. SW first appeared at the time that Helen was badly assaulted and taken to Winchester Hospital. Source M said he was a new minder in the group. 
He came from London, has family in Northern Ireland and in County Sligo, was controlled by the group because he was addicted to heroin. Later, the girls helped him to get off it. He has no allegiance to the cult and has been a tremendous help to us, not only in giving names and places, but also in warning us of impending visits and when there are special dangers. Still in his 20s, I think, adds Dr. Coleman at the time. New section by Dr. Joan Coleman. New cult members, 11th of January 2006. Simon Walters, Mike Hopgood, Patricia Jones, Anne Stockton, Brian Mason, Colette Hollis, Andrew Collins, Jeanette Griffin, and Linda and John, Rochdale parents, shown on film proclaiming their innocence. New section by Dr. Joan Coleman. The following also came into the film. All names were given on the 12th of January 06. Tony Heaford, a counsellor in Rochdale. Cyril Smith, a counsellor in Rochdale, since died, I think. Mentioned by more than one survivor. One claimed she had been raped by him, but because she weighed so much, she was allowed to sit aside, astride him. This, of course, is the Liberal Democrat Member of Parliament, Cyril Smith, now deceased. Elizabeth Newson, child psychiatrist, Nottingham. Also mentioned by Nottingham, involved in Broxtow cult, and by Veronica H, died in 2014. Bruce Parker, political journalist, Winchester. Tom Josephs, 16th of January, 06, known in the group as TJ, came from the Isle of Wight. Killed by the cult, 13th or 14th of April, 06, a recruiter. Barrington Okabe, 19th of January, 06, also known as Barry Otway, age at the time, 26, black, drug dealer, very violent, a messenger. Mark Oten, Member of Parliament, Liberal Democrats. 23rd of January 06, on the fringe, gets boys from the cult. Jason Browning, 19th of February 06. Reggie, an altar of the victim, Helen G, said, she hurt her, he hurt her in town on the 16th of February, 06. Fiona Kemp, ditto. Carl Bayer, 25th of February, 06. Age at the time, 27. Five foot 10, slim build, from Basingstoke. Fifth finger missing, on the right hand. Later learned that he was okay. He didn't want to be a part of it, but was brought in through his drug habit. Sources S, M and J helped him to get off heroin, and he became of the fourth he became the fourth of those whom we correspond with by text message. He died on or around the twenty first of march twenty eight. He was given an overdose of LSD and heroin, raped by five men. Jeff Davy, 3rd of March, 06, lives in Hedge End Road, Andover, Hampshire, just opposite the church, turning into Charnwood Close. Neighbourhood Watch is said to be a watcher, i.e. non-participant, in the cult. Has been quite supportive towards Helen and came round to tell her where her cat was when missing. Dr jo John Coleman says talked to him after she had break-in, and he was again quite helpful. Think he may be being used by the group rather than being part of it. Richard Ingrams, 10th of January 06, the former editor of Private Eye, currently editor of The Oldie magazine for the over 50s, founded in 1992. The first ever edition, 21st of February 1992, contained an article 
by Rosie Waterhouse entitled A Modern Witch Hunt, giving details of a Rames meeting on the 7th of February 1992 held in Nottingham, to which we had naively invited Jean Lafontaine. She was not mentioned in the article, but I, Dr Joan Coleman, was in some detail. The sources, known as PALS, have seen Richard Ingram's name in the same file as those of Jean LaFontaine, Tony Baker, Bill Thompson and Rosie Waterhouse. Ingram's, I heard later, was then seen by them at a ceremony on the 21st to 22nd of March. That's the night of the vernal equinox. Peter Mandelson, former Member of Parliament, Cabinet Minister, Member of the House of Lords, mentioned 11th of March 2006. From 2004 onwards, so at the time of the compilation of the list, he was the Commissioner for Trade. Involved in the cult in France and Brussels. Likes boys. Pays cult cash for rent boys, but seems to be a part of it. He ordered severe torture prior to the murder of a boy named Kevin, aged 17, a runaway from Newcastle, who had some hold over him and was blackmailing him. Kevin was tortured and killed. His body was dumped in the sea off the south coast of England after being cut up. Rob Layton, a watcher in Portsmouth. David Richardson, a male enforcer. Mention date 17th to 18th of March 06. Both Leighton and Richardson were killed in a ceremony in London. Di Williams, female enforcer, ditto. Andrea Kavanagh, 20th of March 06, a new female enforcer, aged 38 at the time, 5 foot 7, brown eyes, short, dark brown, wavy hair, shoes, 7.5, clothes, 14 to 16 size. Mark Hutchins, 20th of March, 06. New male enforcer, five foot nine. Short reddish hair, green eyes. Wears a large medallion. Tattoo on top of left arm. Dragon and snake intertwined inside a circle. Dean Baxter, 24th of March, 06. A messenger for the cult. Laura James. 5th of April, 06. Girl was mentioned in terms of a plan to sacrifice her on the night before Good Friday in April, 06. Roderick Chamberlain, 6th of April, 06. Scribe of the group. Kevin East, 8th of April, 06. Steve spoke of him as the Flying Fairy, or FF, because he is gay and jumped out of a window after taking LSD. Also very cruel and sadistic. Likes watching snuff movies. Graham Loftus, 30th of April, 06. A messenger for the cult. Lord Drayson, the 30th of April, 06. Bought Nether Lippiot a country house in Gloucestershire, from Princess Michael of Kent. Never Lippiot Manor, Stroud, GL6, 7LS. A comment by me, Alex Thompson, I used to look over to it when I was a GCHQ officer. Lord Falconer, 30th of April, 06, the Lord Chancellor. Lana Bailey, 17th of May, 06, Female recruiter, very smart and professional looking. Shelley Carter, 17th of May 06, aged 11, tortured and sacrificed at Bewley on the 1st to the 2nd of May by the so-called frog, Patrice Chambre. James Bolam, 25th of May 06, was first mentioned to Dr Joan Coleman in this connection by B.S. in 1987. Princess Michael of Kent, 
25th of May 06. Margaret Hodge, Member of Parliament, born Oppenheimer, mentioned 21st of June 06. Date of birth, 8th of September 44, was previously on Islington Council in London. Friends with Ruth Kelly, Jean Lafontaine, Bob Woofenden and Lord Montague. Very dismissive of a satanic ritual abuse case there. Simon Thomas, 30th of June, 06, a minister of the United Reformed Church. Update, in 2006, he pleaded guilty to 35 child abuse charges in the Southampton area and was jailed for life. Then in 2013, he failed to get his sentence reduced. Bob Woofenden, 10th of July, 06, journalist wrote a sceptical article about Satanist ritual abuse for Private Eye. He wrote it anonymously. Has written other articles in similar vein. Said to be friendly with Margaret Hodge, nay Oppenheimer, and Jean Lafontaine. Update died May 2018. K. Edwards, 14th of July, 06, referred to by the sources known as PALS as K.E. Age at the time, 45. Medium length grey hair, medium build, wears thick lensed glasses, has a caliper on one leg following polio, has an indwelling catheter, comes from Nottingham, brought into the group by the frog, Patrice Chambre, hates women. She was given to the group by her mother and is very cruel and sadistic. Her address is in Church Road, Shirley, Southampton, but she is often at Lee Park, Havant, where the sources known as PALS are incarcerated. On the 18th of May, 08, Jean Le Dr. Joan Coleman was told by PALS that they had been on trial the previous night, and also that Kay Edwards was tried and tortured too. They thought the judge in this cult trial was Russian, K. Edwards was very sadistic previously, but since her own torture had become kinder to the sources known as PALS. Professor Gisli Gvidjonsson, an Icelandic name, mentioned 3rd of August 2006, a professor at London University, is in with BFMS. Frequently acts as an expert witness especially in child abuse cases and satanic ritual abuse cases. He is paid £6,000 by the cults for every satanist ritual abuse case he successfully discredits. Is associated with Tony Baker, Charles Clarice, Bill Thompson and Jean LaFontaine. Debbie Campbell, 3rd of August 06, a victim, Andover, Hampshire, has a new baby, after being raped by Martin Stein, is to be punished. William Grosvenor, 7th of August 06, lives in Park Avenue, Hampstead, London, is high up in the group, could be a commander. Michael Vorster, 18th of August 06, German, also high in group. Philip Casson, 2nd of November 06, London, an enforcer, 37 at the time, dark hair, blue eyes, six foot tall, has a tattoo of the Royal Artillery Badge on his right upper arm. James Smithson, 11th of September 06, London. James Admondson, 23rd of September 06. On the 21st of September that year, Two days previously, he had come to source Helen G's house, posing as a gas inspector. Jeff Manting, 21st of September 06, a new minder or messenger for the group. Ditto for the next two names, Kevin Marler and John Joe Kennedy. Michelle Jennings, 3rd of October 06, also known as Shalomi, a messenger for the group from Portsmouth. Christine and Christopher Downs, 
23rd of October 06. Christine, correction, Christopher was reckoned to be a risk to the group and was told that if he did not kill himself and his wife, the group would do it following torture. Whirwell, Hampshire. Update, found dead. Cherie Walker, 8th of November, 06. An unregistered child was sacrificed at Halloween at Bewley. That would refer to a few days previously on Halloween, 06. Denise Mills, 5th of November, 06. Mother of Cherie Walker. Jerome Rishka, 8th of November, 06. The father of Cherie Walker. Michaela Sontani, 14th of November, 06. Martin Stein's new woman. Had a cult marriage ceremony in London on the 17th of November, 06. Wyatt Anderson, 20th of December, 06. Then aged 49. A pilot. He flies KM and the frog around and also brings in illegal immigrants and drugs. Update. 2006, sentenced to seven years in jail for people smuggling. Bridget Vance, 10th of January 07, from the United States, owns Shalville Forest Castle, Tullamere, I think that should be Tullamore, County Offaly, taken by there, taken there by the group in January 07. Tony Miller, 17th of January 07 a reader or curate in the Church of England, was first seen by Dr Joan Pullman in the pub called The Pilgrim in Matchwood, Hampshire, in January 2001. He probably recognised Dr Coleman's source, Helen G, because he took a great interest in us. We were looking, adds Dr Coleman, for a certain church that Helen remembered in that area. She described it as the church with a tower with a hat on in the Matchwood area. A lot of cult activities occurred there. He was wearing a clerical collar, so we asked him if he knew where the church was. He denied all knowledge of it, but was very curious. We later found it less than half a mile away. It has carved wooden goat's heads on the ends of the front pews. It is the Church of St John the Apostle, Marchwood. Apparently, Tony Miller now has severe emphysema and is a wheel in a wheelchair. John Curtis, 17th of January, 07, vicar of St. John the Apostle Church in Marchwood, turns a blind eye, rewarded financially. Not sure whether money is kept by him or goes to the church. Saw him, on the chur saw him in the church on the 16th of January, 01. Brian Miles. 15th of January 07, a watcher and minder in the cult from Basingstoke, followed Helen G and Dr. Coleman to Marchwood on the 16th of January 07. Peter Kellison, 19th of January, German. Denise Fortin, 12th of January, handmaiden to Kay Edwards, made a series of threatening phone calls to Helen G from the 16th of January 07 onwards. Peter Krausen, 21st of February 07, German, a big wig in the cult. Ali Dizai, 5th of March 07, then a chief superintendent of the Metropolitan Police, London, Iranian, bribed to damage the reputation of the Metropolitan Police. Kyle Banter, 17th of March, 07, from Poole, Dorset, a minder in the cult, then aged 40. Medium height, dark hair, soft American accent, likes boys. Often at LP, and was made to go to Helen G and others to collect dues. LP is Lee Park in Havant in Hampshire, where there was a group of victims being kept. Kyle Banter has often damaged Helen G's garden and has tried to enter her house, not trusted by the sources known as pals. Alan Johnson, Member of Parliament, Labour Party, 
6th of April, 07, took over from Ruth Kelly as Her Majesty's Secretary of State for Education and is friends with her, attended an inverted cross crucifixion ceremony in the New Forest early on the morning of the 6th of April, 07, which was Good Friday. Jack Walston, 18th of April, 07, then aged 19, was crucified upside down in the New Forest on Good Friday, 2007. Kelly, surname unknown, 28th of April, 07. Note, girls in Earl's Court, that probably should mean girl in Earl's Court, run by Andrew Baxter. Andrew Baxter, 30th of April, 07. Earl's Court, West London, runs girls for group. Lydia Brooks, 17th of May, 07. One of two girls who escaped four years ago. They have been caught and are currently being held awaiting punishment, first in Newcastle, then in London. Carla Swindley, the name of the other of these two girls. Peter Simmons, 20th of May, 07 a messenger for the cult. Franz Vogel, 1st of June 07, a German, Belgian or Dutch visitor, was given a smart party by The Frog at a house near Wandsworth Common, fluent in English, Dutch, German, French and Italian, works in the justice system. Sir Stephen Richards, 14th of June 07, an appeal court judge on the fringe of the cult, possibly a helper of the cult, was recently accused of flashing. Update from news articles, June 2007, appeal court judge flashed at me twice. May 2010, judge cleared of sex offence was questioned over a separate allegation. February 2017, appeal, cut judge, appeal court judge retires at 65. Gail, surname unknown. 27th of July 07, a watcher, i.e. non-participant in cult activities from King Arthur's Way, Andover, Hampshire. Nadinia Chevkovia. There may be a mistake with some of the letter I's in there. Possibly Nadia Chevkova or something like that. 22nd of June 07, an illegal, illegal immigrant. Romanian question mark. Come by me, Alex, possibly Moldovan, given the Russian name was brought into the country at Liverpool for prostitution, was later taken to London, then Hampshire, died when her baby was taken for sacrifice in the New Forest on the 21st of June 07, Midsummer Night. Michael Haynes, 8th of July 07, a former detective superintendent at New Scotland Yard Metropolitan Police. Update found. The Obscene Publications Unit, his affiliation, is in the group, but is only expected to attend important ceremonies, is friendly with Jean LaFontaine. Update. Was involved in Operation Spanner. Appeared in several TV programmes. Dispatches edition Beyond Belief, 1992. Brass Eye, Pedo 2001. And... Dark Side of Pawns issue, Does Snuff Exist, 2006. Paul Kernaghan, 12th of July, 07. Chief Constable of Hampshire Police. It is in records that he has attended Satanist meetings in a Freemasonic Hall twice this year. Peter Hain, Member of Parliament, Labour Party, 12th of July, 07 formerly Her Majesty's Secretary of State for Wales and Her Majesty's Secretary of State for Work and Pensions until January 2008, when he resigned ministerial office over his failure to declare donations to his campaign for the deputy leadership of his party. He is also in cult records as having attended Satanist meetings in a Freemasonic Hall twice this year. It is unlikely, adds Dr Coleman, that anyone could attend without being members of the cult. Fiona Montague, 16th of July 07, Lord Montague's second wife, has a son, Jonathan. Craig Newcomb, 27th of July 07, 
K. Edwards, new man. She got very angry when found, she found out he cheated on her. Linda Mothersoul, 8th of September 07, works for Testway Housing Association. Note, Testway owned the bungalow that source Helen G. lives in. Linda Mothersoul is the boss of Testway Support System. She helps the group, the Satanists, gives them info and has access to tenants' key safe codes and files. According to Testway's LinkedIn page, the address was Testway House, Greenwich Way, Andover, SP10 4BF. But as of 2012, Testway Housing no longer exists. A new section by Dr. John Coleman. List of some of the financial contributors to the group found on KM's laptop computer locked in the computer room, 16th of September 07. Contributions from this group alone this year amount to £80,000. Sir Ian McKellen, gay actor. Dale Winton, gay TV presenter. Update, died April 2018. Sir Elton John, gay singer. Pam St. Clement, bisexual, actress, EastEnders. K.D. Lang, lesbian, pop singer. The list resumes. Catherine Jameson. 14th of October 07, Wells, Somerset, poses as a councillor. That's councillor with an S, not a local councillor. Wants to try and infiltrate the Reigns support network. Friends with Kay Edwards. Has no qualifications, but apparently sounds very convincing. Peter Tobin, 14th of November 07, raped two girls at Lee Park, Hampshire. Has killed several. The case was reported in the press convicted of murder. Darren Macy, OM, 12th of February 08, went to Helen G on the 2nd of February 08, waited in her garden. She went out to put money in her gas meter outside the front door. He barged in and jabbed her and injured her. He rubbed animal dung in her sores and put something inside. Darren Macy is 25, stocky, Short dark hair. Eagle tattoo at top of left arm. Comes from Salisbury. Came with Pat Knight. Pat Knight, 12th of February, 03, 08, sorry. Aged 46 at the time. Ex-army nurse. Came to Helen G's house with Darren Macy. On the 2nd of February, 08. Gave Helen G two injections and made threats. Patricia Thornton. 4th of March, 08. Worked at Oda La Garenne Children's Home on Jersey for 20 years, where, of course, children's bones were found and later discredited. KM has a photo of her as a young woman with a girl called Wynne Lockhart. Patricia Thornton is now 85. Picture of her as she now is appeared on the Mail on Sunday on the 3rd of March, 08. This was not seen by the sources known as PALS. Fiona McKeown, 12th of March, 08. The mother of Scarlett Keeling, the famous case of the girl murdered in Goa, India, attends meetings in the New Forest. Mark Oten, Member of Parliament, 12th of March, 08. Previously mentioned in 2006, earlier in the list. This time, Dr. Coleman writes, one of the pals had to serve as a rent boy for him. He was described as baldish, plummy voice, lives in a posh house in London. He was not rough and gave the young man 50 pounds, was photographed throughout for blackmail purposes, but didn't seem too worried. Katrina Williamson, 18th of March 08, hypnotist. Went to Helen Jean's house on the 3rd of February 08, along with Kay Edwards and Kyle. Managed to get in by giving a signal which Jay had disclosed to them, having been tortured until she told them the code. KW, Katrina Williamson, used blue lights and music, as Peter had done in the past, then hypnotised and drugged Helen. Took compromising photos, then injured her. 
Helen G. had severe pain in her leg, back and shoulder, but no memory of the visit because she was hypnotized to forget it. This was reinforced with subsequent phone calls. Helen was told not to talk to Dr. Coleman. She certainly was fairly distant about this time, Dr. Coleman notes. This was all in prep and preparation for getting her out at Easter, 2008. Sir Matthew Farrer, 31st of March, 2008. Private solicitor to the Queen. Described by Source S as ordinary looking. There was an article about him with a photo of him sitting reading a newspaper at a bus stop carried in the Daily Mail on the 25th of February 1993. The article was entitled The Invisible Man. So Matthew Farrow was first mentioned by Veronica H in 1994. She referred to him as Carly. She said he was the HP in her group. I showed her the photo of him with all writing removed and she immediately responded, that's Carly. He had a flat in London and a large house in Charlwood near Crawley, Surrey, Sussex, of course. Terry Lane, 4th of March, 4th of May, 2008, aged 15, skinny, spotty faced youth, sacrificed the 30th of April to the 1st of May this year in the New Forest, that is the night of Walpurgis or Belting. The above names, adds Dr. John Coleman, were sent to me by two trustworthy colleagues in January 2005. But the following names were given to me by the sources known as PALS between early June 2008 and February 2010. I have heard nothing from them since. These last few names have not been passed on to anyone but yourself. Jimmy Tarbuck, comedian, seen at Bewley in summer, the Earl Spencer, brother of Princess Diana, also seen at Bewley at the summer solstice, mentioned to Dr. Joan Coleman by Veronica H. in the early 90s. Catherine Mayer on the advisory panel of the British False Memory Society. Kimberly Marriott, aged 13, baptised into Satanism by Crispian Hollis, the Roman Catholic Bishop of Portsmouth, made pregnant by one of the group leaders. Mick Cleary, a messenger for the cult, grabbed £150 from Helen G. outside Sainsbury's, 25th of April 09. Barry Hemstock, a messenger for the cult. Paul Towney, another messenger, beat up J. Kevin Morgan, a new recruit. David Willoughby, aged 58 at the time, five foot five, white hair, white hair, dark eyebrows, lives in Westminster at Lillington Gardens Estate off Foxhall Bridge Road, previously in Pimlico, drinks in a pub called the Pride of Pimlico, was a computer whiz into child pornography, sadomasochism and torture, some of which he got from the United States, and Mike Vorden, known as the Kraut, German, lots of piercings, was at Bewley for the autumn equinox 2009. There's also a final section in Dr. Col Joan Coleman's range list about the places. There's plenty of details, which you can find by looking up a printed copy, but I'll just read the places. Pennelly Lodge, New Forest, Culverley Old Farm, Greystone Crawley, Hampshire, by the way Culverley Old Farm is in the New Forest, Bidsden House between Appleshaw and Chute, northwest of Andover, Bewley Palace, Christchurch Dorset, ruined church, Old Sarum Castle, Salisbury, Weatherspoons Pub, Salisbury, formerly called the Town House, Ludgers Hall Castle, Hampshire, near Andover, Hurst Castle near Keyhaven, Hampshire, Coppins Iver, belonging to the Duke of Kent, West Wickham, church with the Golden Ball and surrounding buildings, Osterley Park, West London, Black Park, Uxbridge, West London, Pinewood Studios, West London, Savernake Forest, southeast of Marlborough, Wiltshire, Harewood Forest, east of Andover, Hampshire, Bournemouth, Dorset, the public toilets in the public garden since demolished, Bournemouth, second shelter to the right of the pier facing seawards, Max Bygraves House on a Bournemouth clifftop, Highclere Castle near Newbury, Berkshire, owned by George Harbert, the Earl of Carnarvon, who lives mainly in America, Braymore House near Salisbury and Fordingbridge, 
Highgate Ceremony, Northwest London, Highgate Cemetery, Northwest London, Arundel, Arundel Castle, Sussex, owned by the Duke of Norfolk, Lee Park, Havant, Dunbar Street, number 39 Dunbar Street in West Norwood, South East 17, London, Brank Sea Castle, also known as Brown Sea Castle, on Brown Sea Island near Poole, Dorset, Epping Forest near Waltham Cross, Essex, a house on the Broadlands Estate near Romsey, Essex, Nether Lippiot near Stroud, Gloucestershire, formerly owned by Prince Michael of Kent, since sold to Lord Drayson. A caravan in Rockley Caravan Park, Napier Road, Hamworthy near Poole, Dorset, used for punishment. Charleville Forest, Forest Castle in Tullamore, County Offaly, Ireland. A castle or house near Hawkehurst on the Kent-Sussex border, belonging to the Russian Embassy. Children kept in cages, described separately by NJ in 1989. Note still belongs to the Russian embassy. Evidence of tunnels running from the pub to the Queen's Inn and Royal's o Royal Oak in Hawkehurst, alternative meet meeting places. Seacox House on the road from Filmwell to Hawkehurst, built by the gang's first leader, Arthur Gray, with large basement cellars to conceal contraband. Since a Russian embassy residence during the Cold War and the present day. The Church of St John the Apostle, Marchwood, Hampshire, and two more mentioned between June 2008 and February 2010. Amport House near Ludgers Hall, belonged to the Royal Air Force, was Chaplin's School for the Armed Forces, has secret passages and underground rooms. Currently, the British Armed Forces Chaplaincy Centre, AFCC, a manor house, and Clifton Hall near Nottingham, belonged to the Clifton family, then was a girls' school, a polytechnic, and part of Nottingham Trent University. Anwash Rashid lived there, now empty 